Welcome back. Today we take a look into Jedi Master Deepa Bilabar. Deepa Bilabar, a Force-sensitive human female, was a Jedi Master who served on the Jedi High Council during the final years of the Jedi Order. She was born on Chalacta and became a member of the Order at a young age, where she was trained by Jedi Master Mace Windu. Bilabar was later appointed to the Council alongside her former teacher and was present when Jedi Master Keegan Jin presented Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One, to the governing body. She later attended Jin's funeral after the Jedi Master was killed during the Battle of Naboo. Bilabar continued to serve as a member of the Council during the political crisis that led to the Clone Wars, a pangalactic civil war between the Galactic Republic and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. During the war, she took Caleb Doom as her Padawan learner. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. After the conquest of Collier, the two were attacked by Belaba's battalion of clone troopers after the execution of Order 66, a secret protocol branding all Jedi as enemies of the state. Due to Belaba's sacrifice, Dune survived the Great Jedi Purge and went into hiding under a new name, Kanan Jarrus. Bilabar, alongside her apprentice Dune, Grey, and Styles fought against the separatist forces of General Cleave on Collier. Bilabar and her forces were able to rout Cleve's forces and forced his retreat. Bilabar then spoke with Gamak Key, assuring him that his village would no longer be forced into giving them supplies and labor. Bilabar and her troops billeted outside of Key's village. That night, Bilabar took Doom out for a training session, lamenting that she had been neglecting him. After working with Form 3 until after sunset, Bilabar presented her Padawan now, with a holocron, telling him to use it to explore and satisfy his inquisitiveness. They returned to the camp and relaxed at a fire with Grey, Styles, and the men. They discussed the role of questions in regard to orders and to the Jedi Order, at which Bilabar gave Doom a holocron. He was to use it to study the role of questions and peaceful descent in the Order. In the aftermath of the pivotal Battle of Coruscant, General Grievous and the Separatists launched a massive offensive across several star systems, including on Collier. Bilabar and her men became pinned down by armored assault tanks outside of the snowy woodlands as June left to contact reinforcements. Bilabar and her men were saved by Clone Force 99. As their leader, Clone Sergeant Hunter recommended they launch a counterattack. Bilabar agreed and gathered her men to move out, allowing Doom to proceed on ahead with Hunter and his squad. It was moments later after this that Sid IOUs executed Order 66, a command to all clone troopers, including Grey, triggering their behavioral modification biochips to kill the Jedi as traitors. As Bilaba's men formed up, they began to surround her and fire on her. Bilabar became overwhelmed, and as her Padawan realized what was happening and turned back to help her, she instead told Doom to run. Bilabar bravely stood her ground as Doom looked on in horror, and as she lost her lightsaber when one of the troopers shot it out of her hands, she was quickly killed. Doom fled into the woods, unaware that most of Clone Force 99 were just as confused as to what was transpiring as he was. Bilaba's men then began their pursuit of Doom. Who do you want to see next? Let us know in the comments!